So Stunna Girl is ready to take it all the way there with Ray J because of their ongoing feud. Ray J should have known better than to try to feud with Stunna because she is never afraid to get messy and her recent clap back at Ray J proved it. Stunna made a shocking post on Instagram where she accused him of allegedly destroying Wendy Williams' life by making her addicted to substances. Stunna Girl stunned us all with these revelations and fans are now putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Let's just say that Ray J is not looking good in this at all. Everybody knows that Stunna Girl can be messy AF and we should have seen this drama coming after she and Ray J started feuding a couple of weeks ago. Stunna and her husband used to start on the show Baddies East which Ray J produces. However, Stunna and her husband decided to separate themselves from the show and create some content of their own launching their Red Rum TV app. According to reports, they reportedly brought Ray J on board with the business but that didn't last very long and her husband revealed that they had parted ways with Ray J and that he and Stunna were going to be working to produce content independently. He tried to convince us that the professional relationship between them and Ray J ended amicably but allegedly Stunna found out that Ray J had been running his mouth about her and her husband and she dragged him for filth. She wrote, stop speaking on me. You're none but a Hollywood kid who's having a midlife crisis at 50 faking a gangster image once you couldn't pay us for clout and my husband for protection anymore you started trying to be him. You even tagged tattooed your face like his. Bye. She also called him out for being a creep toward the women he was working with saying, you pay for 304s all day but won't pay your team. You're a professional John. You was gassing Sook saying you had her sign an NDA after you got some of that cat. Bees can't be on your network lest they intimately pleasing you. You're biggest creep of them all. Now this was a very serious allegation but Ray J never came out to speak on it. I'm not saying that Ray J did it or that he didn't but then we have heard so many stories in Hollywood about men forcing women to be intimate with them before giving them the roles or positions that they worked for. Again, I'm not saying that Ray J did that, I'm just saying. Anywho, the drama has been going on since then but Stunna recently came out with the most damaging allegations when she accused Ray J of allegedly getting Wendy hooked on substances. Everyone knows that Wendy has been struggling with substances for a long time. But according to Stunna, Ray J allegedly made things worse for Wendy. She wrote, instead of constantly being worried about me, Ray J needs to focus on what he did to Wendy Williams. She ain't been the same since you took her on that binge gang. This had people talking, especially given Wendy's situation and the recent updates about her health. Back in February, her team made the announcement that she had officially been diagnosed with dementia. They said, in 2023, after undergoing a battery of medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. Her symptoms, which combine, impact her language and communication, behavior, and cognitive functions, have already presented significant hurdles in Wendy's life. This was heartbreaking, but it wasn't a major shocker because there have been reports from several insiders about this for months before the official announcement announcement. Plus, Wendy had been struggling with addiction for most of her adult years. For a long time, fans squarely placed the blame on her and shamed her for not beating her addiction. But then we found out that people in her inner circle had been forcing her to drink and enabling her addiction because they profited from it big time. One of the first whistleblowers was DJ Booth, who used to work on The Wendy Show. In 2020, DJ Booth left The Wendy Show without an explanation, and this made fans wonder what was going on. For those who don't know, DJ Booth is the longtime DJ on The the Wendy show. So him leaving all of a sudden was very sus. Turned out that he had left the show because he was tired of watching the producers and managers watch Wendy spiral without trying to get her help. A fan commented on Instagram and said, Wendy, you need to stop your show and seriously get help. Your camp is just watching you spiral instead of sending help. Shame on them. Another fan commented on this and said, she don't listen to them. Probably why DJ Booth left the show. Now DJ Booth himself replied to the fan and said, yep, exactly. And it will all come out. Y'all have no idea what's really going going on and everyone there is afraid to speak up because they don't want to lose their job. This is going to play out bad. I feel sorry for the workers and victims. Have a blessed day. So allegedly the people in her circle encourage her addiction because it is easier to manipulate somebody when they are high and out of it than when they are clean and sober. Now Wendy did go to rehab a couple of times and even had a stint at a halfway house but she always relapsed every single time. But with Stunna's new revelations fans are now wondering if Ray J is one of the people who allegedly enabled Wendy. For those who don't know, Wendy and Ray J have been great friends for years. They
They were so close at some points that there were rumors that they were secretly hooking up or were in a relationship. However, both Wendy and Ray J insisted that they were just friends and nothing romantic was going on between them. Interestingly, Ray J was around Wendy at the height of her addiction issues and they were often photographed together, with Wendy looking out of it sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Stunna was right and that Ray J did get Wendy hooked on substances because there's no evidence to prove that Stunna is right. I'm just letting y'all know what the streets are saying. Fans also pointed out how weird it is that Ray somehow always seems to be around female celebs at the height of their struggle with substance abuse like Whitney Houston. Whitney will always be one of the greatest singers in history, but she struggled with substance use, especially toward the end of her life. And who was right there beside her the whole time? Ray J, that's who. Just like with Wendy, Ray J and Whitney had such a close friendship that everyone believed that they were in a relationship and referred to him as her boy toy. However, Ray J denied the allegations and claimed that they were just friends. Just days before Whitney passed away from the OD, they were spotted together, leaving everyone to ponder what was truly going on between them. It's a little rumor out of the way that I heard You've been seen around town with Whitney Houston. Now I know the rumors back in the day that y'all were hanging out. Well, but what's the deal right now? We hang, you know, it's, it's, it's Grammy weekend and she's in town and um, we had dinner and you know, she's such an icon to where it, it, it reaches the masses. But you know, right. we, we had a good time, we had dinner, that's it. So platonic, good friend. Hey, there's worse people. Again, I'm not saying that Ray J had anything to do with Whitney's substance abuse or her passing, or even with Wendy's addiction, there is no hard evidence to support Stunna Girl's claims about him enabling Wendy's addiction because Stunna didn't bring any receipts to back her claim. However, fans just find it weird that he happened to be around two older women who both had a serious struggle with substance use. Either something fishy is going on or this is the mother of all coincidences. This fan commented, Ray J is clearly a handler. They send him to monitor things or finish the job. Cause why is he always around the biggest celebrities at their lowest moment. Other fans said, what Stunner Girl says about Ray J putting Wendy Williams on a binge doesn't surprise me because when Whitney Houston passed, I heard the same rumors of him being involved in her relapse. And very interesting that Stunner Girl is coming out of nowhere implying that Ray J has something to do with Wendy Williams' current condition, especially due to the fact that he happened to be the person with Whitney Houston right before her death. But do you guys believe Stunner's claims or do you think that it's just a pile of BS? Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.